So the iPhone 11, which is one of the older iPhones probably that are supported on iOS 17 right now, is actually going to be getting a very interesting update because iOS 17.1, it may already actually be out by the time I'm making this video officially, but I have already installed the beta on all my iPhones that support it. And it is actually insane how good of a job Apple pretty much did with iOS 17.1. And I definitely do think it is a pretty good upgrade coming from the standard iOS 17, but even 17.0.3. Now, 17.1 doesn't bring an insane amount of features. This specific update was, I think, tailored more so for the iPhone 12s. But even with a device like the iPhone 11, I'm already seeing a lot of stability improvements and many other people are already seeing improvements all across the board. But the thing with the iPhone 11 in particular, with this particular device, is that this is basically an iPhone that is second to the last of being unsupported with software. So this is basically, you know, within two years, we could probably see this iPhone no longer being you know, supported with software. But the main thing on top of that is that with a device like the iPhone 11, this is actually an iPhone that was essentially, you know, kind of in that ballpark of almost getting all the features within iOS 17. The iPhone 12 this year was the cutoff for basically all the features within iOS 17. The iPhone you know, 11 kind of got a watered down version of iOS 17. But even within 17.0.1, we're still seeing some improvements where Apple actually went through and did actually give us a pretty good feeling, a pretty good device, you know, overall on a device like the iPhone 11. Now, iOS 17.1 brought a few things, you know, it brought a reduced radiation levels on the iPhone 12. But I do think this also kind of affected probably all other iPhones. I think Apple probably went through and reduced the radiation on all the other iPhone, you know, 12s and iPhone 11s as well. On top of that, they didn't bring a certain feature, but they did go ahead and kind of improve airdrop. So this improvement did go cycle down to the iPhone 11. So now you can actually go ahead and walk away when you're sending bigger files from somebody else's iPhone and the transfer will still actually happen. Now, on top of that, there are some new options for standby mode, which comes on all the devices. So that is a very cool thing. So those specific improvements will actually be there on the iPhone 11 as well. And if you have an Apple Watch on the iPhone 11, you actually will be getting a little bit of improvement with watchOS 10.1 as well, which is another really big feature too. So overall, I will definitely tell you, the iPhone 11 on iOS 17.1 is actually a pretty big update. You should be receiving this update sooner than later. I'd probably say in the next day or two, you should be getting it. Hopefully it won't be super late. Apple was supposed to already release it by now, but they didn't. But I will definitely tell you 70.1 is a pretty big update for the iPhone 11. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solden.